Dubai's more popular touristic side has so much to offer, and we were excited to experience it. But it was old Dubai's historic roots that captured our hearts, all while discovering some really delicious food along the way. This place is apparently the first place that started making camel meat, so we're very excited about it, and the decoration design is so nice. Just a little proof Gokchi was not lying. It's printed right here on their menu. And their menu is actually really cool. It's like a newspaper almost. And on top of it, it shows you like what United Arab Emirates people actually eat, like a lot of seafood as well. It gives you a little bit of the culture as well as providing you an opportunity to eat traditional foods, including the camel burger. Burger's here. Look at that guy. <laughs> oh my God. It looks like a regular hamburger, cheeseburger, of course. It's like, a little thicker, chewier than regular cow meat, for sure. Super delicious, would absolutely recommend trying camel burger when you make it to the UAE. And I'd have another one if I could. Leave some for me. <sighs> my new friend is here to witness my first experience. All right, that looks so good. Look at this. I really like it. Unlike regular red meat, it's more tender, it's just like more chewier, like Steve said. I agree. It's not like as lean as regular burgers, maybe that's yeah. why. Just gotta keep chewing. Yeah, well, that's what camels do too, right? Yeah. They keep chewing. <laughs> In 2020, we got to try kangaroo burger and now camel burger. I'm gonna be honest, I think camel meat is much better than kangaroo meat. I don't know if I would have kangaroo burger again, but camel burger, I'm sorry, I think I'm gonna have it again. We're heading to Old Dubai in Dira, and the easiest way to get there from Bird Dubai is to take an Abra, which is an old traditional style boat. It's very clean and very nice actually. I really like this one. So we're on a mission to find the gold and the spice souk here in Old Dubai, but for anybody who's interested in getting their forks and knives game on, <laughs> there's a utensil souk right behind us. Crazy, I kinda wanna check it out. I'm from Turkey, I know saffron. Turkey, Yeah, the... first of all, the... Smak, we say smak as well. Smak is also from Turkey. Oh, uh, there's a lot in... Ali Baba. Ali Baba. <laughs> So far, unfortunately, we haven't seen any utensils here. The most interesting thing is actually, it doesn't seem like there are many tourists here, which is sad to see how empty this is, because I'm sure it's usually much more crowded, but Corona times. This whole time we were looking for the herb soup, and whomever we ask, where is the spice soup, herb soup, they go, oh, here we have some herbs, but we were <laughs> actually trying to get here, so I'm very happy we found here. What do you drink on a daily basis in Dubai as a tea? Some people they drink it karak tea. Yeah. This is the tea, is it milk already? And we have also Arabic tea, it is strawberry with raisins, with strawberry rose, with and with raisins. A lot of herbs inside. How do you make it though? Boil it with hot water. That's okay. It. So I will invite you Arabic tea. Thank you. That will be great. It's interesting to see how tea culture changes from country to country. This is Arabic tea with milk. They call it karak tea. Oh, it smells so good! I love it! Okay. It's milky, it's sweet, and it smells so good. Is there any caffeine in this? No, just plain. It can't wake me up. You like camel you like Aladdin lamp? I like the camel. Take it one. Oh, thank you so much! This is really nice. Okay, well, I like this a lot. You will go with your husband to Goldsook, he will buy one diamond for you and he Ooh, put it in. did you hear that? Good yeah. idea. Yeah, I love that idea. <laughs> They definitely get a little bit more aggressive as you get to the gold souk for sure, but the gold souk reminds me more of the Grand Bazaar. I think I found an outfit to wear for the New Year's night. What do you think, Steve? They may uh, kick us out of the hotel, but... <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the weird bow tie thing going on there. Yeah. Gotta start saving for it now, though. Okay, change my mind. I'm gonna go, go with this one. Okay, fabulous. Like a queen. She's excited because she's finally found her first ever oh. street cat here in Dubai. Oh, yeah. They're all camel milk. I've never had anything with camel milk before. Which one gives the most? Uh, this one, saffron and pistachio. Don't get me wrong, ice creams are so delicious. Yeah. Like, if you didn't tell me it's camel milk, I would have never realized any difference. Mm -hmm. We're off to find Gokche's most excited thing for this whole... Oh, the museum! 
Historical district, yes, the coffee museum. She can't even wait. We just made our first friend in Dubai, Mahmoud. <laughs> and I was just asking him why some people from Dubai wear this traditional costume and some don't. Actually, this white long dress called Kandura. And this is official dress of Emirati people. But we never mind to wear the casual dresses. Uh, when we are going for to do sports or to go hang out anywhere, we don't mind to wear the casual dress. Of course, we are proud of our dress. Yes. It looks very elegant. I really Thank like you. it. This is the culture and the habit here. Steve and I, we drink a lot of coffee. It's very interesting for us to see this historical coffee machines from all over the world. I feel like this would be right up Peter McKinnon's alley. <laughs> Coming here, you pay 10 dirham. You're getting to see the coffee museum and having coffee. Perfect deal for me. I know we're in Dubai, but I want to try the Ethiopian coffee because the whole point of coming to a coffee museum is trying different things, right? I like it. It's pretty smooth. But I like it. We wound up getting another coffee on the house, Arabic coffee this time, and Arabic coffee comes with dates, which is pretty awesome. It's very light. Light and nice. Okay. I like it. We're going to explore more of the souk a little bit, the old souk here in Dubai, and then we're going to go grab a traditional dinner, I think, tonight. Arabian tea house, maybe? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah! All right, let's do that. All these souks kind of start to blend into one another. I'm sure at the time, they were all very distinct, but now it's kind of like all the same stores that you could see in one souk cluttered into the same souk in a different spot. I like it. What is in it? One mix, yeah, one mix, one mix. Deep pakoda, onion bhaji. Onion mm. pakoda. Deep samosa chicken. Deep samosa chicken. Deep samosa chicken. What is in this one? This pakoda, onion. Onion bhaji. Oh, onion. Very tasty. Very tasty. This is very hot. Chai, patan chai, safran tea. Yes, good, good, good. Which one are you buying? We just got mixed. Mixed, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Chicken samosa? So we were going to go to Arabian Tea House tonight for dinner, but now we have a giant bag of samosas, so we're gonna go chow down on that and save the tea house for another night. Exactly. Woo! Just 10 dirham, it's incredible how much food we got. <laughs> Old Dubai is certainly very different than the glitz and the glamour of new Dubai. And we feel so far that it's been a worthwhile experience to come and explore over here. So we made it back in time for sunset at the Old Town. We're gonna hop on an Abra now. 60 dirhams for a 30 minute Abra ride here on the Dubai Creek. And if you rent it with friends, it makes things much more affordable. It looks amazing at sunset. Check it out. little guy today because you can't film with a professional looking camera in here. So we're super happy because we heard many amazing things about Arabian Tea House. He tried to make me order kebab, but I said, I'm from Turkey. We're trying Haris, which is a traditional Emirati food. It's bulgur mixed with wheat and meat or chicken usually. We're getting it with meat tonight. Then we're also ordering falafel because they said it's actually really, really good here and we have to try it. And finally, we're getting the tata laham, which is going to be tender shredded lamb, which is another Emirati special cooked with Emirati spices. Me, Ahmed, he said this drink is just for me, especially yes, especially, especially for you, it's fresh bread also. Oh, nice. Take one piece of and now, yamma. Ah, no, yamma, yamma. Try it, madam. Oh. Mm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it, madam. But really good stuff, really good. I like it, I like it a lot. Ahmed did not steer us wrong. That tata laham. Oh. <laughs> that gets me so Really excited. like that lamb. You know, madam, this is traditional food in Arabian tiaos. Never, never want to try that one before. Just it was only, so just good. only in Arabian tiaos. Thank you, Ahmed. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. <laughs> We're really 
really glad we found out about Al Sif. It's historical buildings that they reconverted into shopping and art sites here in the old Dubai area. They really did a great job of making it seem like the heritage which was really restored here. And it has this beautiful location right on the water where you're looking across to Vera and of course the Abra boats that come and pass by. The seagulls, it's really kind of a magical thing here. This is Colors Days? Colors Days, yes. Academia. Okay. I really like it. Okay. Hey. Oh, that was such delicious dates. So we came for falafel and shawarma because shawarma is apparently a big food here in the UAE. They have Arabic style, Arabic style spicy. Of course I want to go with Arabic style spicy. Are you going to go with that too? I think so, yeah. That sounds like perfect. Anyways, this is going to be one of the more affordable food options that you could have. The small shawarma is only 5 dirham, whereas the big shawarma is actually 10 dirhams. I see my chicken here. A little bit spicy, but not the spicy level Steven and I always prefer to. But is it good? I really like this. As you can see, I've eaten just a little bit of it. But I will say, it's definitely different than the shawarma we've had in the U.S. But this is really good. Spices are different. It's prepared a little bit different. I guess that's just a cultural thing for the USA prepared in a little bit of a different way for an American audience. But it still tastes really good. I love it. Yep. Thumbs up for falafel and shawarma. <laughs> we are going to finish up here in Old Town. It's really beautiful, really different side of Dubai. And we're going to continue showing you more of Dubai, but we're going to head in for tonight. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and like this video because any support encourages us to continue making videos and we will see you on the next one see you in the next Dubai video bye I can't believe we're having this experience this is so amazing <laughs>